This issue introduces the data recovery tutorial for PS3112. Use a shorting cap or wire to continuously short ROM pins to enter safe mode. After ready, please select the Seagate 2 Fison program. Select the controller, any model to enter. You can see that the ID status is abnormal. Using shorting method must load the loader. Tip, the selection of loader needs to be tested one by one to confirm. We tested version 22.0 is often matching. After the loader is loaded, re-enter the program. Wait for the initialization to end. Directly create a virtual translator. Next, just observe the status of the stop button. Wait for the program operation to end. The process will be quite long. The time is related to the drive status and the retrieval process. After Virtual Translator is successfully created. Find the estimated capacity of the log. Copy the decimal capacity value. Switch the window to the main interface and enter DE program. When creating a DE task, make sure to uncheck read device information. This command is likely to cause the disk to be busy for a long time. Check data copy and select the target device. In the pop-up capacity dialog box, paste the value just copied. Open the task parameters. In the transfer mode page, select the factory program. Prompt load successful means factory program successfully calls SSD program and loads the translator. Note, any options related to power off must not be selected. If the copy process encounters a power off, need to return to SSD program to create a virtual translator again and recreate the DE task, start copying from the beginning. This is to ensure the validity of the data. In file browsing, we can confirm the partition situation. Then need to mirror data. If the partition is not visible, the correct approach is full disk mirroring, use tools such as RSTUDIO to extract files.